Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Uh, Mr. Speaker and members, this has to do with uh, what I affectionately call the practice highway on 35E. Uh, we have a stretch of road uh, from uh, uh, West 7th Street up here through the Capitol, by the Capitol on 35E. It's 45 miles per hour. It makes absolutely no sense. In fact, I would argue that it is more dangerous that we have this speed limit. Anyone who drives to the Capitol from the South Metro knows uh, no one obeys the speed limit. People are driving at 55 miles an hour. Uh, I think this is a reasonable issue that we can all agree on. We can uh, put 134 greens up on the vote. So, Mr. Speaker, I would request a, a roll call on the amendment. We've had this uh, amendment before us many times before, uh, and I didn't bring my file with me, but we had some research done a while back that showed that you literally save seconds um, by uh, accelerating 55 and higher uh, on, uh, on this part called the practice freeway. This was a... Um, this has been decided, been decided by the courts. It was an agreement between the city of St. Paul uh, and, the, and MnDOT to build uh, this section of the freeway through the city, which included provisions stating that there would not be trucks and that the speed limit would be 45. We would be sued if this provision was to, to pass, and, um, and I don't want to see that happen. Members, many years ago I had a, uh, my first school law class and the very first day the professor said, and it stuck with me to this day, the number one indicator of a bad law is when it turns lawbreakers into good people. The speed limit on the practice freeway turns lawbreakers into essentially good people. It's a bad law. Please support the Garofalo Amendment. The author of the amendment, Representative Garofalo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And um, let me try to put this a little different way for people. This turns honest people into lawbreakers. <laughs> so please vote great on the amendment. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll. There being 62 ayes and 72 nays, the uh, motion does not prevail and the amendment is not adopted.